Beat News. Spotlight on suicide. Billy Roach from County Wexford lost his 33-year-old son Paul to suicide on the 25th of June 2006. He told his story to Beat News Spotlight on suicide. Our son Paul suffered from depression for several years. He was a beautiful boy, unbelievable. He was a highly intelligent person. He was qualified as an accountant. Our family encouraged him to seek help and explore various avenues ranging from medical help to natural healing. He even changed his diet, he explored the internet for new and extreme techniques used all over the world. Anything that could help, just to give him hope for the battle with his illness. Uh, there were times we felt he had overcome his depression and he seemed to be living a normal life, a healthy life. Unfortunately, that was not to be. Paul had been, we thought, in a good frame of mind leading up to the tragic day. This afterwards, we felt, was probably because he had decided already to take his own life. And the calmness of his decision had lifted his depression to appear in good humour. He called around to see us all, uh, all the family, saying hello, the usual stuff, but in an upbeat kind of a way. We thought he seemed to be in a good place. Unfortunately, this was not the case, and without warning, he went out one night and never came back. At the time, you feel absolute shock, gut-wrenching pain, and of course you're wondering what should you have done to prevent it. You blame yourself for not realising the situation could have happened and preventing it. You probably feel all the emotions known to man, such as anger, annoyance, sadness, regret. It all seems like a nightmare, and for quite a while you wake up every day hoping that it is. The hardest thing I will ever have to do is to go in to the Wexford County Hospital on the afternoon after Paul being found and to identify him lying on the bench in the morgue. That is something that you will never, ever get over. Paul left his family a letter to try and explain why he had chosen to end his own life. Billy was kind enough to share it with us. Dear family, first of all, I would like you to know that I love you all so much, even though it might not seem like that at times. I hope you can forgive me, but things have gotten worse over the years and it's hard to describe the state that my mind, body and soul are now in. It is so hard for me to function in a rational and positive way. I've lost all my dignity and pride as a man and feel so weak. The way my mind has gone is making it even more difficult to let myself live. I just feel so blocked off my life that my mind is creating torture for me in a crazy state. I do not want any of you to feel bad or guilty as if there was something else you could have done. You all have done the best you could to help me and there was nothing more you could do. Once again, I love you all so much. I'm sorry for the pain and the hurt this may cause. I am sure that God's spirit will be with you and help you. This illness has cut me off from life and the people and friends and it is so lonely being like this. Thank you to everybody who tried to help me over the years, including all the direct and indirect family. I just feel such a recluse for so many years. I would also like to thank all the therapists who tried to help me with their love and support. I'm sorry, but I was never able to feel connected to myself in a healthy way. Love from Paul. If you've been affected by any of the topics raised during Beat News Spotlight on Suicide, see www.console.ie.